Hi everyone, hi Nick. I have a journal to share with you today. This is a soft cover with two signatures and it's nine by six. It's a cardstock, it's two layers of cardstock sewn together. Um, and this paper is the cardstock, it was gifted to me, I've had it a while. It's um got pink fuzz on it for one thing. It's fuzzy. Um it's the best way to describe it. I guess it's it's got a little <clears throat> a little bit of a texture to it. This white part. Um it's it's fuzzy, it's almost like a really really low nap velvet, I guess. But it isn't. But that's kind of what it feels feels like and it picks up fuzz, apparently. Um, signatures are just sewn in with uh, crochet cotton. Um, closure is just some white seam binding that I just wrapped around a whole bunch of times and comes off. I made this tassel. Put this down so you can see it. I made this tassel. It's hooked up here with a, um, a bulldog clip. Um, then there's Lots of different colors of eyelash trim, and there's some lace ribbon, and different colors of seam binding, and some butcher's string, some satin ribbon, some of this other kind of trim, and some um, seashells, which I <clears throat> was going to drill with my Dremel, but it won't hold a charge for some reason, so I just had to use my pokey tool and um, a hammer and just laid the shell down and on the flat side and bang 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 to make a hole so I could thread some really fine beading wire through so there's four there's four shells there's one more one more one more one more somewhere there's four anyway can't find the, ah there's the fourth one right there so there's shells in there. Oops, stay in frame would be a good idea. So there's four shells in there, and this can kind of you know, push out of the way. So that kind of gives you a clue that this is a summer beachy beach themed journal. Um, on the stay in frame for Pete's sakes. On the page side, I use some um, paper tabs, and I also there's paper clips with. <clears throat> these little tiny, I use some um, bulb pins and some little tiny, um, really little tiny shells threaded onto paper clips and that's where these craft seashells and they're already, they come already, these were awesome, they came already, they come already, they've already got a hole in them, so which was really awesome. And there's like a million of them in there. And then the other shells, I didn't collect them. These they, they got them in this big bag of, of shells, so this will last me. I'll be dead before I use all those. So let's go inside. This is, a, I will admit, this is a little lumpy, um, but most everything that has a shell on it, uh, you can take out to write or it's like at the edge of a page, so still um, still very uh, workable as a journal that you can actually use and not just look at. So um, this paper, I use two different paper stacks. One is a, I'm trying to remember now, one is a, a seasonal one and then the other one was um, best of DCWV, I think. It's two different paper stacks that I used. But it's all in these um, tropical colors. And then this is the other cardstock. And this feels the same. The white part has that kind of velvety feel to it. And it's fairly sturdy. It's two pieces together. Um, I also use printables from... I'm pretty sure it's Calico Collage, Ivory Shutters, and... Seneca Pond Crafts, pretty sure. 
so <clears throat> let's go fairly quickly through here made some pockets with some of the paper scraps and then I had this cardstock that was also gifted to me and it's textured it feels like sand it feels like sandpaper actually but it's kind of glittery but it feels like sandpaper and I put some uh, seam binding and some shells on the top of the tags and then I just went through and I just pulled out what I kind of had for this die cut there sort of this is one of the, um, if you turn it around right, it hangs better. Anyway, the, the shell is supposed to go, or the shell, yeah, the shell is supposed, the shell is supposed to go on the bottom of the paper, of the, the round part, but it doesn't want to do that. Um, I pulled, I just went through and I pulled out a lot of whatever I had for, um, BG printables. Um, I just printed them off again. These were. This is a kit from Ivory Shutters. Ivy Shutters, which I just um, I print. I shrunk the pages down to make these little foldouts. And this was basically what I based the whole journal on. Was the colors in this these pages here? It's very um, tropical colors. Lots of seashells tickets um, tracing paper lots of room to write but there's also a whole lot of stuff in here um, <clears throat> this is basically primary colors so I pulled some old workbook pages kind of the colors kind of went um, the paper bag that was gifted to me it's gusseted so it will hold a lot and just embellished it with some from the main kit and then some butcher's string and this is just some scrap paper made a permalinda tag and ledger paper ruffles which I um, just edged with a um, one of my decorative scissors paper tabs uh, graph paper flamingos sheet music, a top tuck here with a couple of banners and some burlap and some shells. <clears throat> These two tags here. And shrunk down those really big tickets and made some paper clips. Oops. So there's several of several of those and then on the back side is one of these some of the butcher's twine that I just tied into just tied in some knots <clears throat> flower catalog that my mother gave me a large big carmelinda tag with some shells Another um, shell with a pin. It's a little pocket that can go. It's empty. And it can just you know, it can go anywhere. The center of the signature is a large envelope that I made out of some summary paper and just put a page that I didn't use. For extra journaling. This is all sewn all around and sewn together. Another corner pocket, large, oops, large ticket, another tag that I made out of that textured paper, and then these two. I do like those jars a lot. It's another piece of ephemera that I use as a tuck spot. Just put some um, seam binding on there. This journaling sheet and these two some more sheet music and flamingos and another paper ruffle <clears throat> the die cut another paper clip and 
this one on the back. It's the other half of the paper bag. Cut the bottom off the back. And I just tucked in some of the banners from the kit that I didn't use. So those can go somewhere in the journal for whoever gets it. Kitty cats. Another pocket. Another big tag with some more of that textured paper. And some shells and another one of these. from the kit. That's the first signature. Another Hermelinda tag with the flamingos. And these two. Another um, paper bag and I just tucked a bunch of extra bits and pieces that I didn't use in here for whoever gets it. It's a um, bicycle die cut that was gifted to me. Another uh, paper clip. And this has a jar on this side. More paper ruffle, palm trees. It's a tag that I made out of the offcuts from the cover. That's another shell. This little tag on this side. Workbook and music paper. Another die cut. There's <clears throat> another banner tuck with a shell and some burlap. And some tracing paper. There's another one of these little floating floating pockets that could go anywhere or stay there. And another one of these fold outs. This paper looks like water. And there's another paper clip. This here, and that's from the kit. was the center of the signature. And again, I used I had to cut it down so it would fit in the envelope, but there's another one of the pages that I didn't use. But they're also pretty, I didn't want to not put them in. So I just tucked them in this way. Come on. Get in there, you. <clears throat> there we go. And again, this is sewn all around. All the pockets are sewn around. It's another off cut from the cover. Ledger. Another large ticket tag and a journaling sheet, journaling card. It's just some um, seam binding. More workbook with kitty cats. Another piece of ephemera that I stitched around, made into a tuck spot, and then we have these. Put them in frame because I haven't been checking. There's the flamingos. More paper ruffles. Some more daylily uh, catalog. I love this. My daylilies didn't do squat this year. It's another. Oops, it's glued together. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, there we go. That one's empty. I put a lot in there. My daylilies didn't do didn't do squat this year. They came up and they a lot of a lot of green stuff, but no flowers. And there's the back page and the inside cover. So this will be listed in the shop. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And you can pop on over there and check it out if you're interested. And <clears throat> I will be back at some point with another journal or two or three. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.